This house had a very different feeling. It was a builder's home. There were cabinetry, closets, and doors that were not to my liking. I saw a layout for her and we moved the kitchen, which was in my opinion not very well located, to the back of the main floor where she could look out and walk out and create a kitchen using the entire width of the townhouse. The kitchen is not the largest of kitchens, but it's very well organized. There's a lot of vertical space. She has a ton of storage, and we were able to use some of her existing pieces as well. So on the way into the kitchen, we created with one of her pieces the beginning of a butler's pantry, and we fit in this beautiful pine piece that she uses to hold some of the incredible bowls and platters and trays that she wouldn't want to lose. And then on the other side, we created additional storage, just open, lots of shelves, cappuccino bar, and a counter for serving and somewhere to put dishes when you're entertaining people. There are a couple of things in the kitchen that I've never done before. I've incorporated the use of sliding upper cabinet doors. They don't impose on the space and help the kitchen to feel a lot larger than it is. I don't like to use all of the walls for cabinetry, and I like to make it a room for living and enjoying. So the wall over the kitchen we saved to hang artwork, and in fact, my client is an artist, a very talented one, and we hung one of her pieces over the sink. Into the island, we buried a table that pulls out of the island. It has a zinc top, and they're very comfortable using it as a bar or as a separate table. It's not a surprise or a secret that I enjoy color, and I have done my share of white kitchens. In fact, my own kitchen is a white kitchen, but I really enjoy using color in the cabinetry, and this blue is so soothing and peaceful and pretty. I just love it. You will always find a layering of color and pattern in homes that I do. There's a harmony of color that I like to use to keep things that are so different harmonized. For example, here, we've actually layered color throughout the entire main floor. The quality of the color is a little bit bright, actually. There's some life to this navy blue. I think one of the first decisions that we made, given that she had so much art in her home, is we wanted not to edit any of it. We wanted to create a space, almost like a gallery. Some of the pieces on the wall are hers, and in order to give all of the pieces their due, we created a wall that had some architectural integrity. And then without too much concern about the paneling, we hung the art. She had a pair of battered up old wing chairs in her basement, which were amazing. So we took those two pieces and one of her sofas, a table and a couple of chairs and created this living space. This sofa, initially I thought it's never gonna fit in the space. And then we actually blasted out the cabinetry at the front door and found some other way to incorporate storage, which is even better. I love the sight line from the living room into the powder room, which is like a little jewel. To create a way for your eye to travel in a room and land on something, for me, is really important. In terms of this space, there is a lot going on. I find it comfortable and layered. Others might run for the hills, <laughs> but there's a big element of pattern going on here. I think that Naomi is very similar to me. In fact, we're almost kindred spirits in the way that we approach what we buy, and that is buying things that you love and finding a way to make them work. The reality is when you buy things that you love, they're often in some way related to one another, and you can always find a way to put them together.